Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I'm going to kind of talk about uh, array lists, and I'm going to go through. I'll probably make this in two parts of what you kind of need to know on array lists, and um, we're going to talk about interfaces a little bit today, um, and hopefully this makes a little bit of sense. So. Basically, the last thing we ended up with about three weeks ago, I guess now, was talking about uh, uh, lists. So we're going to go through kind of what we did real briefly, and then we'll um, kind of kind of go from there. So to make an array list, we start off by saying list, and we give it a name. So list equals uh, new array list. So new array list. And we need to import two things here. So... We come in here and we, um, they're both import java.util.list is one and import java.util.arraylist. So the first thing I want to kind of discuss is why this is list and why this is arraylist. This is probably the first time you've ever seen this. You're used to seeing something like this. And, and you can do that and it works, but you're not going to see that in the AP exam. You're not going to see it in a lot of in a lot of places. So what this is, this list is what is called an interface. So it's not a class. Um, it's a subclass of that, but it's called an interface. So let me kind of explain what an interface is. Um, because you got you know that we can do, we have two types of lists. We have array list and we have linked list. Um, and you're going to be using array list for for most of them. If I wanted to do that, I need to import another um, java.util dot um, linked list. All right. So let me talk about a um, an interface real quick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this back to array list. All right. Now suppose we came up with our brand new list. So we figured out a way. It's really really efficient. It's better than array list. It's better than linked list, and, and, and we created it, and we want people to use it. Well, you kind of know we don't want to confuse people, and people have been using array lists or lists in general, array list and linked list, for a while. So they know that there should be something like list.add, there should be list.size, there should be list.get, um, uh, set. So we don't want to confuse them. So we should, if we're going to make our own, uh, new brand new uh, class that we have we should kind of follow the same construct that that they did so we don't confuse people so if I was making my new one here I'd come in and I'd say okay new class and I'm gonna call this um, my super list so that's my my class name all right so this is the this is the best list that we can possibly create and I'm gonna come in and say public class super cl uh, my super list and I'm going to say implements list. Okay, now it's not going to know what list is. So we just come in here and we do our import java.util.list. And as soon as I hit here, we get another red. And it says here that the type super list must implement the inherited abstract um, method list.size. Oh, okay. So I, it, it must have a, the dot size method. So I come in and I say, okay, so public. So if I looked at that again, okay, oh, this is really nice. I can just add all the unimplemented methods. So I'm going to type them all out. So add all the unimplemented methods and look at them all. So here they all are. And you're going to see these are all the ones that um, were there. So there's size, there's is empty, contains. Um, these are not all the ones we do. There's add. Um, there's remove. We should know how that works. Um, and now I already have like a template that if I was making my own super list that I, if I wanted to, I wouldn't skip any methods that people are already familiar with. Um, so that is what we are, we are doing here. So now if I made this awesome super list, I can come back here and I can say, all right, list list equals new my super list. Okay. And then I can come in here and do list dot. Oh, there's add. Um, obviously, I didn't, you know, do anything in there for my add and my size. I'd have to. This one's just going to return zero and, and and everything. I'd have to actually do some stuff. Um, but there it is. So that is why we have this. is called an interface. And and um, I'll get into it a little bit later if you want to create your own interface. It's actually really easy. Um, you just basically say what methods they need to they need to write. Um, so. Um, I'll, I'll come back to that maybe in a little bit, 
Um, but if what you need to know is that this is an interface and it just gives you a, um, a template basically for everything that's going to be in there. So I'm going to come back and jump into um, the new array list. And let's just go through a couple things just to make sure that we are okay um, with this. Oops, I just took out that last one. I don't want that one. Take away the link list. So a couple things to, to get for, for here too is right now these are all objects. And you should, and they'll be very specific, you should say what these are going to hold. So let's just have these hold strings. So this is what we do here to, to have. Now we know that this list is going to hold strings. So I can come in here and do list.add. And I'll put in here some names here. So Ryan, um, list.add, uh, mine, Jeremy, and list.add. We'll come in and do Michael. Oops. Come in, do list.add, um, Kendall, so on and so forth. All right. So now I have um, my list and I added things to my list. And a couple things you need to know. So that's how you add. Um, you need to know that add will always append it to the end. Um, so make sure you know that. Uh, remember that there's an appendix list that you should know that you should know what add is. Um, you should know that you can add in um, a specific spot. So if I wanted to, I can do add um, <coughs> Michelle in, or sorry, I think it's reversed. Add in spot to Michelle. Okay, so that will add um, Michelle in spot two then after. So if I did systemout.println, let's do list.get, and this takes in an index here. So if I put spot two here and I run it, whoops, cancel that, and I run this, you should see Michelle there. Also, if you kind of remember, um, they did a nice two string, you can just print out the list and this will show you to you pretty nice. So Ryan, Jeremy, Michelle, Michael, and Kendall. So you can see what, when I added Michelle into spot two, it kicks everything down a little bit. So there's those two ads. You should know that there's a list.size, so I can definitely print out the list.size. Okay. Um, so you can see there, that'll print out five. Uh, we already did get, so you definitely need to know that there is a list.get, and you can see it's just a specific index. And then there is a list dot set. So it takes in the index that you want to set and um, the element because that's going to remove the other one. So as before when I did add, um, it kicked everything down. Now you can see if I say, all right, one, I don't want to be Jeremy anymore. I want to be uh, Kevin. You can see now if I print out, I don't need to print that out, obviously. Um, now if I print out the list, Jeremy should be gone now. So the difference between set and add, obviously, um, it will remove you from the list. It'll actually send it back to you. So I actually could have kept this here. This is kind of interesting. Make sure you kind of keep this in the back of your mind. You don't use it too often. Um, but if I print this out, it will actually print out what was there. So you can see I can actually print this out. It's, it's not a void method. Um, it actually returns to you the, the string in this case. Um, that was removed. So those are the ones you need to know. So size, um, I'll put this in here. You definitely need to know size, um, add, and then you need to know add with an index first and then your um, object. Uh, I should put here size is just this. This is an object. Um, then you need to know uh, get, which will be an index, a set, which will be an index, and then you send over the object, and then finally just a uh, whoops, a remove, which will just um, take in the index there and, and remove it. So those are the is there six there that you need to know. Um, 
What I'm going to discuss in the next video, so that's just a quick video just to make sure we're okay on that. The next video I'm going to ex um, expect, I'm going to go through what you guys need to know, be able to do with a list is you accumulate stuff. Um, you need to be able to know the, you know, the, the low, be able to grab the lowest slash highest. Um, you need to be able to see if something exists or not. So I'll call that existence. Okay, whether something's there or not, um, and then be able to tell like, hey, where are you? Um, and I have a video for that. I might link you to another video that kind of goes through all that um, pretty well. But um, we'll kind of go from there. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Um, that's part one, uh, just a little bit of a review on, on lists.